What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and I'm back again with my 6.8 quart Kasori Dual Blaze Air Fryer. And for my viewers that are first time seeing this air fryer, Dual Blaze means that it has a burner on the bottom as well as your traditional coil and fan on the top. And by the way guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's free. As you just saw guys, today we're going to make a Kasori Dual Blaze T-Bone Steak. Now what's going to be fantastic about this cook is with the Dual Blaze, it cooks both sides. So we're not flipping anything. A lot of you probably forgot, but this Kasori Air Fryer, this Dual Blaze Air Fryer hooks up to your network, meaning it connects to your Wi-Fi. So we're going to use that Kasori app for the time and temps of this steak. And on top of that, shout out to the good folks of the meat stick. They sent me out this um, wireless meat thermometer some months ago. I was been supposed to do a video on it. Figured today's the day. So we're going to use the app for the time and temps. And we're going to use this meat thermometer to get it at the, my desired temperature. So guys, let's go ahead and get the steak seasoned. First off, I let this sit out like this for about 45 minutes. 30 minutes is fine, but you know, 30 to 45 minutes will work. And now I'm going to hit it with some avocado oil. Whatever oil you have is fine. You're going to hit both sides. And then I'm going to hit it with my seasoning, which is my go-to seasoning, guys. Pink salt, black pepper, and garlic. And that's... Really, all you really need is salt and pepper, but hey, what doesn't hurt with garlic? Link will be in the description, guys. I use this all the time on everything, pretty much. All my meats. Pat it. Do the same to the sides and, you know, all around it. All right, guys, so we got all sides done. And like I said, all you really need is salt and pepper, but some of us, like myself, are a little adventurous. And if I wasn't on camera today, I may let it marinate in this. This is really good. Or uh, sometimes I might just even use this. Why not? Or I might use this. I might use this. Or if I'm outside... I might just use this on the grill. All right, guys, we're all set to put in the air fryer. I got my wireless meat thermometer um, in. I had to try a diff couple different places because it's not supposed to touch the bone. I usually make a ribeye, guys. The last time I made a T-bone steak was probably 10 years ago. Um, and the last, I eat like one or two ribeyes a year. So I'm not a steak guy. I'm doing this just for you guys and just to show off the capabilities of this machine. So let's get it in. All right, we've got the air fryer basket out. Notice we don't have the crisper plate there. We don't need it. Ladies, this is form fitting. We almost didn't make it with the wireless meat thermometer. Cause take a look there. Just enough. And it's not touching, so that's good. Let's get it closed. All right, I got the meat stick app open, guys. I'm going to go to grill. It doesn't have air fry. It has deep fry, sous vide, smoke, stove top, oven, and grill. So I'm going to hit grill. They don't have air fry. So I'm going to look for, uh, uh, well, beef. And then we have steak. And then I'm going to adjust it to how I want it. Um, I think I'm going to change it to medium well. Yeah, that's how I want it. Let's get into the app, guys. All right, we got Kasori Air Fryer. I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to click up here to search for steaks. I don't think it's going to have a T-bone steak, but it has something. There we go. I'm just going to look at that. 400 for 12 minutes. That's about right. 
And they even had step by step on what you should do to season it and prepare it and all that stuff. Ooh, calories too. Look at that. I didn't even know I had all that. So when I'm ready to cook, I just cook. I just uh, press cook this dish. It shows you where it's set at, and then I I hit cook now. And then all I hit is start, and we're ready to go. Or I could just cancel that and just hit the steak preset and add four minutes. Or I can completely be pimp like and do this. And shout out to Don P one time. Uh, Axe Kasori air fryer to turn on for 400 degrees for 12 minutes. Air frying for 12 minutes at 400 degrees. You heard it. Can your air fryer do that? Probably not. All right, we'll be watching. Smelling good, guys. We're getting there. We even got status on the Kasori app of how we're doing. As you can see, guys, this is going to be an early lunch. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but I hear those juices going. Check that out. Okay, says we're done. Turn off Kasori air fryer. Okay. Now, I bet when I flip this bad boy over, you're going to really see something. I'll let y'all listen to that sizzle for a minute. And by the way, um, when this happens, it makes a noise. I have it on silent, so it's vibrating. But it makes a noise. I don't know what noise it makes. Let's get that thumbnail picture going. So let's go ahead and flip it over. I think the other side should be... Cool. Look at that. You know what I'm about to say, right? This could be you. Do a blaze, baby. I'm going to let this rest because you know we're going into overtime, right? I have to give you a side view. I'm sorry. Cleaned it out real quick. We're about to make some steak fries, guys. I haven't made steak fries in a minute. That is much thicker than shoestring uh, fries. So I usually make that between 10 and 12 minutes. So I'm thinking probably, what, 16 minutes? I don't have to flip it, so... I guess I'll check it with like four minutes left and see where we're at. Turn on Kasori air fryer at 400 for 16 minutes. Air frying for 16 minutes at 400 degrees. I am so off. I could smell the steak. I was in my living room chilling. I could smell the steak fries all the way in there. These have to be almost done. Let's check it. Oh yeah, we're gonna let this go for like one more minute. Let's see. Can you see the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, these these are good. One well, one minute and we're good. In fact, before I put it in, I know it's seasoned from the frozen bag, but you know I gotta add my own. I'm gonna put some Tony's no salt Cajun seasoning on it. Just for some added flavor. That's one minute. All right, guys, I stopped it with four minutes left. You see it. I wish you could smell it, though. Let me get one so I can show you. Prove to you that both sides are done. Could be you. 
Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. I am starving, guys. So what you see here is some A1 sauce on my steaks and some sriracha ketchup for the uh, steak fries. I'm ready to eat. All right, guys, you saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat, guys. Let's take one out and show you. Like I said, I got some A1 sauce on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's medium well. It is pink. I don't know if you can see it, but medium well. You first. You got it? Mmm. That's good, man. Juicy. Tender. Mad flavor. Mm. I know some of y'all wanted this piece. You got it? Mm-hmm. That's good stuff. Okay, one more before I get the steak fry. I must be hungry today. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, we're going to get a steak fry without the sriracha ketchup and then one with. A bite with. You first. You got it? Mmm. That's good. That is good right there. Have some with the sriracha ketchup. You got it? Now that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Y'all saw how easy it was. Link will be in the description. Mm. Oh man, that was absolutely fantastic. And guys, like I said before, I don't make steaks a lot, as you can see. And I have to tell you, this is one of the, this has got to be on my top three juiciest steaks I've ever made. Some of you guys might be thinking about getting a meter. I've had one of these for about two years. And to me, honestly, they both work the same. But if you're planning on getting one and you rock with Cooking with Doug, I would get this one because they looked at my channel and decided to send me one for free to show you guys. And since they work the same, I didn't get the meter for free. So this was sent to me. So if I had to choose one to um, for, suggest to you, it would be this one. All right? Oh, and by the way, this particular uh, Meat Stick X is 100 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description, of course. And I'll also leave a link to this Kasori Dual Blaze because, as you can see, it's a game changer new technology and absolutely fantastic and I do want to uh, correct myself because I, I know in a previous video I said this is the first um, square basket with um, dual burners and one on the top and one on the bottom but that I'm mistaken because DeLonghi uh, makes one. Shout to Booker 500 US they make a square basket that does that but I don't see really she's the only one that does videos that I've seen on that so that's why I forgot but this is still an awesome machine and definitely check the link out. Take a look at it. I definitely recommend you get it. You saw what it done. You you and I have a I'll uh pin a playlist of all my videos that I've done on this uh machine. I think I've this is like my fifth cook. You mean check it out for yourself. Oh, and by the way, tomorrow I will be making a whole chicken in this Kasori uh, Dual Blaze Air Fryer. A lot of you have requested that as well. That originally was supposed to be this video today, but the whole chicken that I got was like partially, like, I don't know, it was like 20% frozen, and I bought it last night. So I planned to season it last night and then just cook it now, like I cooked the steak. So I said, you know what? People ask for steak, so I just picked up a T-bone, and I said, I'll make, that, I'll make that today, and then I'll do the whole chicken tomorrow. So there you go. But that's all I got, guys. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug. We out.